Here's what we're going to do now. We're going to develop film. So remember, with our camera, we push this little button here and we rewind the film back into the cassette. Then we open up the back of the camera and we pull out the film. Now we're ready to go in the dark room and load this up into complete blackness and then develop the film. Now here's some of the stuff I have. We need to bring our film with us to uh, uh, load up on the reels. Here's the reels right here. Here's the tank and the lid, and then the little lid, the frisbee lid for playing with your dog. I'll just put that on top like that. And then here's the inner core, very, very valuable. So we have all these components. So let's go in the dark room and develop our film. Come on, let's go. Now here's how we open up our, our film. Here's our film opener. Now on the way into the dark room, I did pick up a, a, a nice scissors, which comes in very handy. So I'm going to take the flat end of the film, and I'm going to stick it into this thing, and I pull it back. If you make growling sounds, it really helps. There we go. Tear this sucker off. Sometimes you do it. There it's coming off. See, and you just pull it out like that. And here comes the film. There it is. And then what we'll do now, Everything that I'm doing right now is in complete darkness. We've got to have the light off, otherwise you've just ruined all your film. So now we'll cut this guy off like this. You want to make sure you don't cut off your fingers while you're doing this in complete darkness. Then you go to the far opposite end, you cut off the tape. And again, you can't see what you're doing, you can only feel what you're doing. And now you've got your film all ready to load up on the reel. Now, there's two different types of reels. Uh, one just has a little entryway like this. Here's a little trick that sometimes we do, uh, and I, it sounds absurd, but you can do it in the dark if you, if you really try. You kind of nip off the edges a little bit like that. Just kind of nip them off. So now instead of having sharp edges, now you've got edges that are slightly beveled. And you'll find that the film will go in more easily. So here we go, we bend the film a little bit. This is in complete darkness, you can't see what you're doing. Pass it through the steel ball bearings, like so. Now we ratchet it on. And with those beveled edges, the film goes on more easily, so we're almost all on, almost there. Once you've got all the film on, come on buddy, there we go. If there's a little leftover hanging out, that's actually okay. Now this film's all ready to go into the tank, but you're gonna need your inner core. So you put the inner core through like this, put this guy in like that, put the lid on, and tighten it, and now you're ready to turn on the lights, and then we can go out and develop the film. Now let me just show you this other reel. So first let me pull this guy off. Here's a reel that's a little different. It's got little guides on it. And that's kind of a nice little feature. The two steel ball bearings are here and you go in on this side here. It, many find this a little more easy. So the guide allows you to go through the steel ball bearings. And then you, again, ratchet the film turning into Shirley Temple's curls here. There we go, wherever Shirley Temple was. So, there we go. And it's about the same ease. Now I've got the film on, same thing though. You've got to put the film onto the inner core, just like this, into the real tank. Put the lid on, tighten it up. Now you're ready to turn on the lights. So let's turn on the lights, leave the dark room, and go out and develop our film, okay? Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna develop our film. So if you'll see over here, we have our uh, Marathon uh, film developer. Uh, we've mixed it up for a stock, for a straight solution, and we're gonna mix it one part of Marathon to one part of water, so it's a one-to-one. -one. These canisters hold about 32 ounces, so we'll have about 16 ounces of Marathon, 16 ounces of uh, water. So let me get uh, a convenient uh, container over here, and I'll pour in our marathon. And 16 ounces, and then we put in our water. And that 16 ounces, total of 32 ounces. And now we measure the temperature. 
Now the school is pretty well uh, situated with a constant temperature of about 70 degrees, but we just simply take the thermometer, you can always double check, and we'll put the thermometer uh, in here to see what it says. The temperature of the developer determines the time, and each film has its own time. But we have a chart on the wall. So we have Tri-X, T-Max 100, T-Max 400, HP 5, that's Ilford Delta 100, that's Ilford Delta 400, Ilford, we've got Arista, sold in the bookstore, Arista 400, and then here's the different times. So 68 is the standard time, 70 is usually what the building is, 72 if it gets warmer uh, and the AC breaks down, and here's 75 if, if this if the world's coming to an end, and then if the, if the if it's in the middle of the winter and the world's coming to an end, it gets 65 degrees. So the 65 degrees is longer times, the 75 degrees is shorter times. So standard times are around between eight and a half to about uh, almost 11 minutes. So uh, here's the little dial. It says that it is about, and I'm looking at this, it looks like it's a little bit above 68, about 70 degrees. So, and that's usually what the building is, about 70 degrees. So now, and this is Tri-X film, so at 70 degrees, it's 8.5 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'll take this clock, and I'll put it to the 8, and I'll put it to the half. So I think it's 8, and here's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and a half. And now we're ready to pour in our developer into the tank. So I'll take off the little frisbee lid. So now we're ready to pour in our developer. Now, I, even though our development time is going to be eight and a half minutes, I'm going to put it back about 15 seconds because it takes about 15 seconds to get the solution in here. And then we'll be starting at, at 8.30. So I'll start this little guy right like that, and then I'll uh, tip the, the container a little bit, and I'll start pouring in my developer. And it does drip a little, and that's OK. And there it starts to come up to the top, and as it starts to come up, you're done. And then we'll put the red top on. And now for the first 30 seconds out of the first minute, we are agitating. Now notice when I agitate, I'm uh, uh, rotating it a, a little bit. So our first 30 seconds is almost done. Now we're going to let it sit. Here it goes. We're putting it down. We're just going to let it sit. Now, for 20 seconds, we let it sit. And then we'll agitate out of the last 10 seconds out of that very first minute. So the first minute's a little different than the other minutes. So we're almost there. Here we got, we've got, there we go. There's the last 10 seconds out of the first minute. So the, to, to review the exciting first minute, You've agitated for 30 seconds. Then you, it was too much, you had to rest. So for 20 seconds, you put it down. And then you agitate out of the final 10 seconds, and that's the end of the first minute. And you're so exhausted after that that you have to rest for 50 seconds now. And then you'll agitate for the last 10 seconds of the second minute. So we'll wait now. And know any funny stories? I was thinking of some photo stories. I can't think of any photo stories. At least none, none that I can get in into like 50, what, 50 seconds of time. I could sing a song, but I can't sing. I can play a guitar, but I don't have my guitar here. My hands are all got you know, like chemicals in them. Okay, we're getting close now. Oh, here we go, here we go. Uh, 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 we're gonna start agitating, whoopee. So it's, uh, the first minute is 30 seconds of agitation. Uh, and then 20 seconds of sitting, 10 seconds of agitation. That's the first minute. Second minute, let it, uh, let it sit for 50 seconds and then agitate out of the final 10 seconds. We're going to be uh, repeating what we did for minute two over and over again until we're done uh, with our total development time. And it's eight and a half minutes and we'll know we're done when the, the second hand gets down here to the zero. Now here we're getting down to the uh, half minute again and so we're starting to agitate. Now, keep in mind that there's two different methods actually of agitating. Uh, you can either go 10 seconds out of each minute or you can go 5 seconds out of each 30 seconds. So either way, 5 seconds out of each 30 seconds or 10 seconds out of each minute. But the idea is to rejuvenate fresh developer coming in, in contact 
uh, with the surface of the film that helps you have consistent development. And keep in mind, and I'll agitate one more time for you, I'll pick up the, you notice how I do this. You just simply take the tank, you invert it, rotate it, kind of, you do this for about maybe five, six times during a 10 second uh, interval. And then when you're done, you take your hands off of it, you put it down so that you're not touching it, because so, if you're holding it, then you're actually agitating it. So now, we'll say that the development is done, eight and a half minutes, and let's do our next procedure. Okay, so now we have finished our development. I'm gonna take off the little red top, only the little red top. You wanna keep the other lid, that's your light tight thing. And we'll pour out the developer. So now there goes the developer, a mild alkali. Uh, if anything, uh, helps keep the septic tank uh, clean. And now we're gonna take the whole thing, and I just stick it into the stop bath. The stop bath is a little mild, uh, acid. Uh, uh, and that immediately stops the action of the developer and has just enough time to sort of fill it up, maybe agitate it for a few seconds. Uh, in theory it's supposed to be about 30 seconds, but by the time you fill it up and then um, uh, agitate it, then we, we pour the stop bath right back into the bucket. And that's done. So we stopped the action of the developer. Now we're ready to go into the fixed bath, which is three minutes for your Arista film, your Triax, five minutes for your T-Max or Delta film. That's a different type of film. So once again, we just put the, the fix right in here. It fills right up, brutally, brutally. There we go. And we put the lid on it. Now this one's going to be, uh, it's Triax. So this is going to be like, Three minutes, and we sort of follow the same agitation program as we uh, do with the uh, uh, film developments. We agitate for 30 seconds, and we do it the same way. And then, after 30 seconds, you just uh, put it down. And then, usually, what I do is I uh, uh, agitate about every minute for maybe more like uh, 15 seconds. So I agitate a little more of the fix because the fix is such a short amount of time, it's only like three minutes. Uh, so time goes by, you're going to agitate, and then after the fix, you also want to uh, uh, save the fix. So the stop we save, the fix we save, use over and over again, pour the fix back in. And now we're ready for just a little, a quick, oh, by the way, after the fix, you can open up the top, and you can see, you can see if there's anything on your film. And we'll just give it a short little rinse. Then we'll wipe off, get off the um, excess of fit. Short little rinse. And then into the film washer. I just dropped the whole thing in like that. Turn it on. We let the bubbles scour away that extra fix that's on there. And we wash it for about 10 minutes. And you don't have to do anything. You just go off. You can, you know, have a beverage. Nice cup of coffee, you can check your emails. Ten minutes goes by. So then we come back. Now, after the end of ten minutes, we take our. Uh, I always roll up my sleeve, unless, of course, your shirt's really dirty. And then you reach in and you grab the film and we put it into, I should give it a little shake, put it into the photo flow. It's called photo flow. And this is a wetting agent that uh, helps the film dry with, uh, without streaks or uh, watermarks. I just drop it in. 30 seconds is all you have to do, 30 seconds. Yep, there it is. Okay, 30 seconds, take it out. Now here's where, you know, here's where the, 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 the truth of this film development is. This is dummy film, so there's actually no images on it. But if this was real film, take the inner core off, now we're ready to get the film off of here. Now, to get the film out, you have to actually break the reel apart like this, take the film out, and give it a good shake to get off that extra moisture. Again, if this was real film, you'd see images, but this was dummy film. So now we're going to hang the film to dry over here. And you can see in here that people have successfully developed their film. You can see there's little images on it. You'll notice that at the bottom they put a little um, a clothespin so that the film ha hangs uh, taut and tight. And then in this film cabinet, although you can dry without the uh, uh, any um, 
uh, air flowing. Sometimes people like to develop it or uh, uh, dry it in about 20 minutes. So I'll, I'll turn it on, set it for about 20 minutes. Heat is at about five or so, and in 20 minutes it will be uh, it'll be nice and dry. And then you can cut your film into strips of five and put it into the plastic pages. So let's go over and look at the light table and how to do that. So we've dried the film, uh, and uh, this is a student's film that turned out successful. And she did have some streaks on it. So I'm going to take a little of this film cleaner and I put it on this little uh, glove here, and I just kind of wipe the film down once or twice. And that helps, and it's on the shiny side of the film that helps take those uh, little bits of streaks uh, off the, uh, the film. This is a real long roll of film. This is like 37 exposures. So, uh, and then once I'm done, I actually uh, close up the uh, uh, film cleaner because it evaporates uh, quite quickly, uh, being that it's mainly um, uh, alcohol, but um, don't drink it. So now, we're, and now we've uh, uh, cleaned the film. Although you don't always have to do that, but we saw little streaks on it, so then we got it right away. And if you do it right after you finish uh, drying your film, usually they'll, they'll come right up. Uh, so now we have to cut the film in the strips of five, right? Five to fit in the plastic page. So here's a lovely plastic page here uh, that you can get at the bookstore, or sometimes we can provide it. And so uh, I'll count now: one, two, three, four, five. And now we'll, we'll get the little scissors right here and we'll just cut it like that. So there's one. And continue here. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. And we're left with this. So now let's put them into the plastic pages. So we just kind of, I put them in such a way that you read the numbers uh, correctly. One through, oops, I got it here. This here is, uh, I don't know what happened to one. This one starts with four. But that's good enough. So like this, and like this. Now that we have the, the film, which has just been washed mm -hmm. and dried, and cleaned, we are ready to protect it with this plastic and our next big event, which will be to go in the dark room, and we're going to make a proof of this. And from this proof sheet, we will decide what we actually want to make prints of. And that's in our next episode. So this is ready now, all uh, film that has been developed. Uh, washed, dried, and it's in the protective uh, pages. If you had a little sharpie, you could write your name up here, date, or something if you wanted to keep file, if you're that type of uh, personality. And that is the conclusion for our uh, lecture developing film. Class is dismissed. And a little bit more, and that guy a little bit more. But that's a nice, I like that. What is it?